What's up everybody, this is Kirby Marie here and welcome to some more Assassin's Creed. So on the last video we started off with being back to reality in which we were gonna have a reunion with Melanie and the boss. And Melanie is the woman who in the, was in the beginning the short hair girl. Um, so we were gonna go to that reunion once we're in the elevator she expresses about how much um, the pirate ship the pirates Caribbean trip thingy was has been so long uh, you know like it's been you know amazing and everything and once we get there um, we're talking to this dude I mean, well, once we get there, um, the boss, um, asks Melanie instead to come along, so they can have a little chat about something, and while Melanie just left us there waiting, um, that's when the other dude once again calls us, so we can do some more hacking stuff, I think he's a bad dude, obviously, and I think, I don't know, um, in which, because he was threatening us that if, um, you know, if we try to tell him about what was going on, since he has the upper hand of everything, then, you know, I could end up losing myself. Um, so yeah, we hack some stuff, we watch a recording of what, what the dude was saying with, with Melanie, and apparently about, you know, getting the Pirates of the Caribbean steam starting soon, and we barely have made anything else. Yeah, um... Also, after doing that, we go inside a window, inside a window because he tells us to go to the back uh, of the building to enter inside the, the boss's office. Once we enter in there, we start reading a bunch of stuff in which um, I was going to post it on the channel, but it was super freaking long. But it's basically mostly a conversation between Melanie, the boss, and a bunch of other people. And it wasn't that really much of a big deal, you know, about discussing plans for next stories related to to the Assassin's Creed and stuff like that. Um, which then we just simply get out of the office, um, we go and deliver again to the same girl um, who wears the weird orange clothes. Um, we deliver the data to her, she leaves, and then we just go back to work. In which then we get once again another flashback of Edward um, trying to you know t t fix things with his um, his wife I guess and so but his wife um, you know stopped having faith in him and everything and she, I guess she didn't want to be related to him anymore like officially. In which then we're here in Nassau and the only leaders now left which is Ben and there are these two dudes over here. Um, I keep I, I don't know their names yet again, um, which they are kind of the leaders over here in Nassau now, ever since Blackbeard and James Kidd left. And so um, we encounter with the Scarface dude from way earlier episodes ago, in which he comes to Nassau probably you know to fix the problems that's been going on, everything. Um, in which we just go and try to hear the conversation, we try to kill some b people as well. Um, and we stole a plan that he had, in which he never realized we stole this plan. Um, and so, once we are done doing that, we go back. Um, apparently, um, these, this pirate, with, along the other one that is drunk on the floor, I think, right, is he still there? He's still there, but he's glitchy he or something. <laughs> but, um, damn, he's still, I think he's glitchy. But, you know, like, they didn't agree, and they don't want to, um, you know, make a deal with the Scarface dude. But Ben is the only dude who wants to help them out because he wants to do the right thing, and it's understandable. But you know, they're pirates, we're a holes, I guess. And um, and now we consulted with this dude here about, you know, doing some kind of thing to explode the ships and everything. And we now have to steal four gunpowder kegs. So yeah, without further ado, 
let's jump right in. Alright, so we need to steal four gunpowder kegs. How are we gonna do that? Don't know, but let's just do it. Stop there, you All your buddies are dead, so what's the point? Alright! Mission complete, the gunpowder plot. Um alright. Nice. Alright. Now we need to go to the exclamata point. This one took me a little while. Employee of the month. Really? I just got a trophy called Employee of the Month. Alright, we're here. Let's talk to this dude. Commodore 86, 86 I think it's called this mission. There's a dude. Hi, sir. The Commodore fears a revolt is nigh. His orders are to sink every goddamn pirate ship now anchored in that harbor tonight. It's by the governor's wishes, sir. This is a direct order, soldier. You will take position on the grounded galleon and await the Commodore's further orders. Is that clear? Aye, sir. The conniving bastard. Someone ought to slit the Commodore's throat before he gets a chance to bar those orders. You think so? They're dead in the water otherwise. All right, I'll kill him. Your brains are baked. I won't take no part in killing the Commodore. Not one of the King's men. Golly. The Commodore's got good fortune. I'll be waiting for you. Nowhere nearby to hide. Okay, I'm coming. Put up, put up, put up. And I'm to, to hide her. Okay, let's just wait until they leave for a little more. Jesus, there's so many of them. Don't let me see that one. Okay, fine. Just run. Just keep running. Kill the Commodore. Frick, he's inside the ship? Okay, fine. Let's just stealth swim our ass over there. Okay, that I was just not gun. Uh, but oh yeah, yeah but I.
No, no, para, para acá. Drop, just drop. Oh, well Someone's done. given us a pardon, Commodore. Don't a man's word mean anything in these times? A syphilis clouded your mind. Why scratch and claw to protect such squalor? Your parasites feeding off the industry of honest men. Much like King George in that respect. Know your place, peasant. You may have taken my life, but you have not improved your own by any measure. Does some purpose keep you talking? <sighs> If not for that heathen, Governor Rogers, I'd have seen you hanged from your own cross trees. Worm. All of you. It was the best way. I, that was the best kill so far. I killed him with a freaking berserk dart. Alright. This took me a while, but. Hold on a second. Alright, um, now that we completed our mission, let's just go to the exclamation point and see what happens. Sorry. I'm terribly well informed about country matters, I assure you. Is it outside the map? No, it's right there. Oh, it's with Ben. I mean, no, that's not Ben. That's the other dude. All right. The Commodore's dead. Are we ready? We're close. We've got a problem with the galleon. There's a couple of dozen. Bloody hell! You'd raise a cloud here, lout. You sat on enough gunpowder to blow New Providence off its rocks. Stay off me, mate. I'm, I'm well chafed. Jesus, you're always high as F. A squad of lobsters has commandeered our galleon. We're gonna have to clear it out before we use them cannons to play the blockade. Alright, let's do it. I think I'm gonna call an episode here. Um, if you guys like this video, then I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Uh, Alright, just when you think it couldn't get any worse, it just did. Now we have to protect this ship Fire! what the captain keep it afloat oh, no fatten yourselves every last scrap of duck on the wind the fire ship's about to blow steer clear captain escape the blast radius 
Hold up. Fine. Down so but me! We broke through. Get clear of the fleet now and we're home free. Escape the boats. Oh. They bring force one stop! So it's fine. It's just Rach over there. I think we're out of the enemy site. Here? Alright, we're here. Escape blockade. What happened now? Oh my god. We did it! That took me a couple of hours. A mighty mess there. <laughs> Burn your bastards! Yeah! He's too hours drunk as F. Well, <laughs> what certain sure ah, that certainly went well. Alright, we did it. Mission complete the fire ship. This one was hard as freak. And now we're back to reality, right? I think we are. Hammer falls. Oh hi kid. We missed quite a time. Hi. Pity about Nassau and Blackbeard flying the coop. Well, we'll see about Thatch. <laughs> oh my god. Vane's off to see him now and I'm following soon. This is what's left of your experiment in democracy. Aye. We do as we please here and we take our time doing it. For Christ's sake, Edward. Don't anything but the stink of riches wrinkle your nose. What's got into you, man? Reality, mate. Reality. See that you ain't pulled into the drink by this drowning rat. Oi! I've lived longer than most men who trod this path. All right, so we ended up in Great Inawa. Apparently, Edward got drunk as f, and you know, I'm so glad that he didn't tell anybody that kid is a woman. Because if he did, I swear I stopped playing right now. <laughs> Let's see if I can get some stuff. Um, what is that? What is this? Oh, it's for side missions. I thought it was something to upgrade, but no. No, thank you. Welcome back, sir. Hold on, I'm gonna go inside. Alright, we're here in this new place. It looks very beautiful. This place looks beautiful so far. Black Bear and, um, other dude. Mine's made up to stay, he says. It's a sodding. And hang all of you lot that follow this sorry bastard into obscurity. Uh, don't blame Blackbeard. I know you're come to call me home, Kenway. Your faith in me is kind. Nassau done in. I feel I'm finished. I'm not of the same mind, mate. But I won't begrudge you the state of yours. You still looking for that sage fellow? Aye. Taking a prize a month back, I heard a man named Roberts was working a slave ship called the Princess. What I want to say about it. The Princess. Wow. Don't sit there like a barrel of wet fish. <laughs> oh, Celebrating my retirement! 
Oh my god. What the? Something doesn't feel right. Save us a few bottles, eh? Let's tail this son of a, you know. I think he's disguising himself as one of us. I'm not... Alright, fine, let's try to get him because I can't cross the other side. Alright, so there's no place to hide here. The only place to hide is amongst the people. Oh my god, what an ass. What? Already been detected? That's that's bull crap. Oh boy, give me a break. All right, we're eavesdropping on the conversation. Ooh. Tell me about the Edward Pet. What sort of man is he? He's fat, sir. At least that's what he told you, you know? But he's a mad bugger, he is. Cracked as a glass teapot, sir. Detail, that. Stop talking in jokes. Well, sir, he likes his drink, for instance. Only he makes him queer. Takes the usual rum flip and fills it with half a weight of gunpowder to top it off. Did I hear you were right? He drinks gunpowder? Aye, sir. Just for show. And only last week he rounded up a score of his crew and bade us sit in the old of his ship while he burnt off sulfur and other sickening minerals. We just sat there like it was one of a million pits of hell and nothing less ordinary. Good God! What the hell for? Like to test his crew is all. Tease out their fitness and walk. Of course it was turned out he was the fittest of the lot. Die there, bloody savages. Have no fear, soldier. This will be the end of them. Come on, that... it's time. That's what Quickly. you think. Send the signal. Uh oh. Remember always this day. <gasps> what the devil? <laughs> oh, freak! We gotta reach the jackdaw. Uh, can we reach it from this place? Let's just jump, right? Alright, yes, we can- Woo! Oh no! Oh no, 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 no! Everybody's gonna die here! We gotta reach the jackdaw. We're gonna kill these son of a b-words. Oh, come on, come on, come on! Come on! Come on, we gotta reach our jackdaw. Alright! Yes! Oh, Blackbeard, you're alive. Thank goodness. Incapacitate the man or what? You're gonna pay for what you're doing right now. It's fine. Freaking beaver! Can we use the? Oh, oh, crap, crap, crap! Oopsie. Yeah. 
What? My oh. They're helping us. I didn't notice the allies. Sorry. Come on, allies. Then try to shoot this stupid private ship. Sorry, I didn't. Oh! Then why are you in the freaking middle? Out! Get out of there, Edward. Captain? He drinks damnation 